You're in for a treat starting Monday. Lawrence B. Jones III will be here all week at this hour, so we thought we'd get him all loosened and limbered up. Uh, Lawrence, we started this week with uh, Georgia boycotts, pullouts, woke sports, woke airlines. Things go better with woke cola. What's your uh, takeaway on this thing? Well, you know, I, I think this boycott nonsense is just a, a, a attempt to get more votes. Um, we're talking about people that knew exactly what they're doing uh, when it comes to invoking emotion. But I think the Republican Party should have been prepared for it. I mean, when someone mm -hmm. buys a domain several weeks before this big campaign, before the legislation is even done, they've already told you what their political playbook is. When you have Delta mm -hmm. and Coca-Cola that help negotiate the bill, they're only bowing because they don't want the woke mob go going after them. Their lobbyists helped write this. So, again, th th this is cancel culture going wrong, but it's also a Democratic party that wants to preserve power. Um, it's not about black voters because, as you can see, they're willing to allow black businesses to suffer in Atlanta. B Atlanta yeah. is the modern-day black Wall Street. I don't understand how you're helping black folks by making sure that they don't get a financial uh, incentives. Yeah, as you say, this is all laid out in front. They, they've bought the domain names, and the Republicans, as usual, are kind of slow in uh, realizing that these guys are weaponized this thing against them. Yeah, they're pretty slow most of the time. Yeah. I mean, this is a, this is a, a political party <laughs> that literally yeah. allows the left to just run all over them. I mean, how, yeah. how do you allow someone to give you their political playbook and you do nothing? And this is part yeah. of the disappointment in the governor and the leadership in general. Um, I, I don't understand how you can't sell liberty when this is supposed to be your trademark. Yeah, that's actually a very good way of, of, of putting it. You would think that would be uh, attractive. And at the same time, uh, you would think people would get sick of the condescension of being told by Democrats that securing election integrity uh, has to be done. Be uh, If you try to do that, uh, the people are too stupid to figure out how to get voter ID. Uh, aren't people sick of that condescension? Yeah, I think people are sick of, of the conversation, but I, I guess that, that's the whole point. These guys shouldn't be that hard to beat. And that just shows mm. you that maybe the issue is on the other side. Look, I, I agree with the Republicans on the merits of it. It, it is true mm. that the bill is a good bill. It really doesn't do anything much different. Of course, it protects the election a little bit, but all the allegations are false. But when yeah. you have an incompetent side that has failed city after city, I mean, I travel all across the country, showing Philly and Chicago yeah, and yeah. all these cities that have failed. Shouldn't it be easy to beat these guys? Yeah, no, no, that's that's. True. Let me ask you just quickly: When yeah. I see you in those cities on Sean's show on Hannity, mm -hmm. was he the first guy to call you LJ? Yeah, he's the first guy to give me that name. But you're the first person to call me my full <laughs> name on national TV. Yeah, I was I, I was trying to figure out whether you liked LJ. Uh, in uh, in England they'd call you Loza, and in Australia they'd call you Lozo. So I'm trying to figure out which one of those well, is. Uh, well, I wish is gonna... it should be LBJ because of course you got my full name, so it yeah, should yeah, be LBJ. Yeah. But no one wants to be compared to the other Texan LBJ. I mean his policies didn't. No, really no, help. no, 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 no. We'll uh, we'll we'll figure that one out for the uh, for the promos. But have a have a terrific. Uh, a week next week. Thank you so much, uh, Lawrence L.J. Great, great job this week, man.